Now that their stock is in Pound Town, another Squid Game is still two years off, and you have more choices than ever when it comes to background noise. I mean streaming services. The only show keeping Netflix alive has returned. I think you should leave. I don't know what to tell you, bud. We're just shooting funerals and showing the ones where the bodies fly out. Also, Stranger Things. It's still pretty popular. There's only one more season until Stranger Things is over. And one more year until these kids can legally drink. Now, the Duffers are serving up 13 more hours of 80s reference stew. Fast Times at Ridgemont High, Chin Chin Chong's next movie, 16 Candles, Teen Wolf, and Romancing the Stone. But since they're almost out of Stephen King to crib from, Almost. <laughs> They're tapping brand new sources of nostalgia, like heavy metal album covers, famous 90s movies, and in some real snake eating its own butthole moments, early seasons of Stranger Things. Oh, Stranger Things, I, I liked that show when I was a kid. Goonies never say die, and Stranger Things took that sh to heart. Last night, we couldn't even take one group yeah. picture because there was like 50 of us. I was like, yeah. you need to start killing people off. They just need to have one massacre scene. As always, there's Millie Bobby Brown's Eleven, who's still getting more nosebleeds than a horny anime guy. Watch her get bullied at regular school and Xavier's Academy for Gifted Youngsters, putting the young actress through more pain and abuse than the time she went on Hot Ones. My face doesn't feel like my face. <coughs> <coughs> then catch up with Mike, Will, Jonathan, and an enchanted bong who came to life. That's a funny word, man. Bleep, 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 bleep. For an indie road trip dramedy about that unforgettable spring where you realize you're gay in the back of a van. Plus, there's Lucas and Max. He's pretending not to be a nerd, while we're pretending an 80s trailer park kid likes Kate Bush more than Skinner. And don't forget Dustin, Steve, Erica, Robin, Nancy, Blossom, Jughead, and Gwildor. This exposition gang is here to speedrun us through all the nerdy lore of the Upside Down. So if the Demogorgon was just his foot soldier, Vecna's his five-star general. While protecting an absolute legend named Eddie Munson, this metalhead with a heart of gold must stay one step ahead of a terrible curse, being a fan-favorite newcomer on Stranger Things. <laughs> Dang it, again? Justice for Eddie. You too, Chrissy. You too, newspaper twerp. You too, other bully. Had enough characters? Well, too bad, because most of the adults are still alive too. And they're slogging through cuttable plot lines like my two lab dads. You don't understand what he's capable of. This is not our choice, whether she wants to stay or go. Right, Doc? The Great Russian Trope Off. And Joyce and Murray's epic side quest to bring back Chief Hopper. I'm gonna die someday, but not today. A character who should be dead, but someone wanted to watch David Harbour get tortured. <laughs> Like, a lot. Stop, stop, stop! He wasn't that bad in the Hellboy remake! Let's seal it with a kiss. Okay, just one more time. But Hopper's not the only lumbering, unkillable, bald monster. There's Vecna, a psychic with the wettest tentacles you've ever seen squelch. After Eleven sent him to the Upside Down and burn his dick off, Skeletor's cousin, who had too much work done, is back for revenge. And he'll get it in a five-step, seven-day-long process for killing one kid that feels pretty inefficient for America these days. I'll throw on 20 rounds of buckshot for you. But it's the first time we've seen an even matchup for Eleven. As long as you overlook his only two weaknesses, music and friendship. No, they're using the buddy system. Ah, it burns. 
So get ready for more cozy, bingeable comfort food that you would have stopped watching years ago if it weren't for your parasocial relationship with the cast. As Netflix begs you to stick with them through their awkward phase. You grown. Yeah. And if we keep our subscriptions until the next earnings report, they can pretend it's 2020 again. C come on, guys, stick around. It's just 10 to 20 bucks a month. Even cheaper once we fill full of that. D don't you want to know if this is cake? No? You'll be back for season five. Starring. Take this L. How many fins could a wolf hard wolf if a fin wolf could wolf hard? You can't put that haircut on a grown man. It's cruel. Dusty the Clown. Cleeks and Geeks. Stephen King. Nan Helsing. This one time at Bandcamp, buyer's remorse. My only regret is that I have bonitis. Two years away from starring in Beetlejuice. Get to the hopper. This is what happens when you pirate Metallica, kids. Nina Papa always gets paid. Venti. Like wow, Scoob. Yak win the USSR. And the Duffer Brothers' one rule for their core characters. Everything works out. Happy ending for everybody. Epic real time. Okay, I'll just say it. Jason had every reason to think the last person seen alive with his dead girlfriend, a drug dealer who went into hiding, was the murderer. But hey, coming out for not being caught up on the lore, sure. I piggybacked from a pizza dough freezer. Help, I've been eaten by John Bailey. If it's too loud, you're too old. I've been waiting 10 years for a comment like this. There's four seconds left in the video, enough time for one more quote.